Hey everybody, my name is Ed Trevers. My pronouns are he, him, and his. I'm an Anglican priest in the Diocese of Nova Scotia in Prince Edward Island. I get to serve in the beautiful town of Shelburne, Nova Scotia in the awesome parish of Christ Church Shelburne that sits on the ancestral and on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. I give thanks for you all every day. I thank God especially for everything that you teach me and everything that you share with me in your comments and in your emails. Now I'm going to confess something here and I hope nobody will judge me for it. But I was in a meeting a few weeks back, maybe a month or so ago, and a piece of scripture came up. We read from the Gospel of John, the third chapter. It was that passage just before the famous John 3.16 uh, where Jesus is talking to Nicodemus, the, the Pharisee who's come to visit him under the, under the shroud of darkness. He doesn't want, to be, doesn't want anybody to know he's there. So they're, they're talking back and forth and John's asking him some questions and Jesus is doing his best to answer. And, um, and Jesus says, the wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it's going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. So here's where the confession starts. The second the reader read the word wind, my brain went somewhere else. My brain went to sailing. I did not want, I, I wanted to be sailing. It was a gorgeous day here. The blue skies, the winds were nice. It was warm. You don't get many opportunities in November to sail and I was gonna take it, but I had this meeting. And so I began thinking about the wind and I began thinking about sailing and, and what happens, especially when the wind changes. Now, this reflection that I'm about to offer you has l almost nothing to do with the passage that I shared, except that the word wind is going to be used in both. But where my brain went that morning was, I had I'd been sailing maybe a month before that, and I was sailing past an island out in Shelburne Harbor, and I was on a downwind, so my sail, I was on a downwind in a laser, and anybody that's sailed a laser knows that they're rickety, they're just not well-designed boats. They're wonderful and amazing to sail, though. And um, my sail was completely out, and I was actually sailing by the lee a little bit, which meant that the sail was beyond 90 degrees from, from, the, from, from me, and, and the wind was pushing me nice and steady, and then I went past an island, and when I went past the island, the wind shifted. And when the wind shifted, that boat rocked from one side to the other, and I almost went in. And I had, to, I had to bring the sail back in, I had to trim it a different way, and I had to move my tiller and point the boat slightly differently. And, and that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. There's a lot of change happening around us. There's a lot of change. There's a lot of people who are, who are trying to move with this change, and there's a lot of people who are trying to move against this change. But the change is coming. There's nothing any of us can do about it. The change is coming. Some are happy about it, some aren't happy about it, but change is coming. Not because of one particular moment, change is always coming. The only option we have, the only genuine, honest option we have is to trim our sails and adjust the direction of our boat. You can decide, I'm not gonna trim my sails, I'm gonna go the direction I want, period. The wind's still going to blow the way it blows. At best, you'll slow down. At worst, you'll go for a swim. If you choose, if you choose not to trim your sails, if you choose not to, not to point the boat differently, don't expect it to operate the way you want. Right? It's never going, to, the wind is blowing, period. You'd have no control over the wind at all. All you have control over is how you have adjusted to the wind. That's the only thing you've got going for you. How have you adjusted to the wind? The wind blows where it wants, how it wants, as strong as it wants. You get to decide how you will adjust your boat, how, we, how you will adjust your sail to take in that wind to use that wind to move you forward? How will you harness that power to bring, to, to move in the directions that you want, to move in the directions that are safe for you? 
The wind is blowing. You can't stand up in the boat and yell at it. It's not going to do any good. You can't yell at the other boats around you who have adjusted. That's not going to do you any good. Your only choice is to trim your sail and adjust your boat. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. And I pray that you will always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And as you and I feel the winds of change blowing all around us, I pray that we will all trim our sails and point our boats together so that we can move forward together. Because quite honestly, there is nothing prettier than a whole bunch of boats moving in the same direction together under the same wind. Amen.